Hello YouTubers and welcome to a new video of arepas for dinner. So for today's video I had something else prepared but unfortunately the person I was gonna be collaborating with was feeling bad so I had we had to cancel the collaboration. That left me a little bit in the air. So I was thinking, what can I put together to, you know, to entertain you guys and make something fun? And I realized, what's the one thing that is bugging me all day, that I'm just like on top of it all the time? Food, eating, because I am literally having the worst mo morning sickness ever and I'm already 15 weeks and something, like 15 and a half weeks and they're not going anywhere. So I decided to shoot these to show you guys what I eat during a day when I have severe morning sickness and how I kind of like go around it to get some nutritious foods. Um, I'm doing this specifically because so many people told me you can live on crackers, don't worry, crackers and ice are more than fine and for sure that's true when your morning sickness stops at 12 weeks but right now I'm 15 and a half weeks and I haven't gained one pound even though already my blood doubled inside my body and my baby is growing and the placenta is full of liquid I still have the same weight as before getting pregnant. So that tells me that I'm not actually gaining, I'm losing. So I tackled these and I started this new diet and this new entire process of what to eat now that I have severe morning sickness. So let's start with the video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments if you had severe morning sickness, if you have any cravings, if you have any adversions. I really wanna read all those and interact with you guys there in the comments. So go ahead and do that and that's it. Let's start with the video. If I am having a bad morning, usually morning sickness is worse in the morning than in the afternoon for some people, I get one of these. Nutricia Nutri Drink is just, it has 300 calories, so it's like a breakfast and it has a lot of protein and other good things without being like a protein powder type of drink. I think this is great. I Before I was taking the Ensure, I like the Ensure more, but last time my husband went to the pharmacy, he couldn't find Ensure. This one was great. They sell it pretty much in every pharmacy. This one is banana flavor and I also have strawberry flavor. So when I'm not feeling great and I cannot really cook, this is a great option. Rice, because it literally doesn't smell like anything. These ones are frozen veggies that I just defrost by steaming them. A hard boiled egg that I boil in advance. I pretty much boil six eggs and I just leave them in the fridge with a teeny, teeny, tiny amount of salt and some tuna with extra virgin olive oil that I put myself on. They're, they actually come in with water, it's much better. And I wash it off a little bit so it doesn't have excess salt. This is a great meal, very well balanced, very healthy, and it doesn't require too much cooking. I know when you're feeling terrible, you really don't wanna cook, so this works very fine for me. The thing as well that I'm drinking that helps lots is Magnesia water, Perliva. Why magnesia? Well, because uh, magnesium really helps you against headaches. So having one of these bottles a day mixed with normal water in between is good. It's actually great for you. And Perliva, because everything that has bubbles for some reason helps tons as well when you're feeling extra, extra bad. So I usually drink these ones on the days that I'm feeling my worst. Or if I'm feeling fine, I just try to drink one or two glasses of this to add some extra magnesium to my diet always 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 have it with ice so i do have this ice machine you don't have to buy an ice machine if you don't want but i drink lots of ice in my daily basis because well i am american like continent and we all drink a lot of ice so actually having all my drinks with ice guarantees that they are all fine for some reason i cannot have anything warm i cannot have coffee i cannot have tea i cannot have anything like that so ice helps lots as well as I just keep them in the water until they become like very soft or small and then I just bite them. Uh, I know a lot of people are doing this. I believe this machine was 120 euros in Amazon. I believe you might find cheaper ones. I don't know. Amazon the it has this one is the Edgecoinig. I cannot even pronounce it. But whatever, they all look more or less the same. You just put water and they make the eyes so you don't have to do anything and you have eyes all day. So that's very nice. First, I want to show you that everything I bought, I bought, I bought it through Rohlik. Why? Because I cannot stand the smell of the supermarket. So if you're like me and it just makes you feel bad, just order your food. I use Rohlik because I, it's, it's very convenient for me. But you can use any Rohlik, Koshik or Globus Pickup or you can choose as well the other one. Was the name. Tesco, Delivery, all of those. So I'm going to show you here very fast what I bought. 
and for what. So um, super important. I was unable to eat protein before. Now I'm able to eat a little bit. So I got some chicken and some fish here because it's very healthy for you, even though super expensive in Prague. But anyway, I had to pay it because it's healthy. So you should get it. These are onions. Here I have carrots. I like having carrots to dip in sauce or just as a snack. So I'm also going to do a coleslaw sa salad and I needed like two carrots for that. Some tomatoes. Tomatoes are super expensive here, so only three. <laughs> Some apples because I like apples as well as I got three bananas, so they don't go wrong. I'm the only one eating bananas here. I got here two cucumbers for snacks, super healthy snacks. These with a little bit of vinegar and salt is great for when you're feeling super bad and it's super healthy as well as some zucchini. I'm going to have that as a side for some meal. I have here gloves and just like things for cleaning, cleaning supplies. Uh, I have a uh, bell pepper and the Czech pepper. I don't like the Czech peppers. They're so white. So I just, I don't know why I got it, whatever. Uh, some cherry tomatoes as well for snacking. Some mushrooms because it's winter and we need our vitamin D. Some mayonnaise for the coleslaw salad. I'm not going to be using all of these, only like three spoons, but well. Two things of baby spinach because I'm going to be making spinach soup. Soups are great when you're feeling horrible. So I'm for sure going to be incorporating that into my diet this week. As well as these are some uh, like lettuce things. I never know the name of these. It's Czech. It's Polny Czech. But I really like it. It's very nice. A bag of salad. I mix these two. Usually here is my... I mean, I wanted to buy only one uh, buy only one cabbage, but they gave me two. It's purple cabbage because they didn't have the other one. Some ham for sandwiches. I have enough cheese in the fridge. Some eggs. I'm probably going to be boiling around four of these eggs and leave be another six. Some uh, Brussels sprouts because they're very healthy for you. And here are some green beans, healthy for you as well. As well, some bread for sandwiches, for breakfast, for morning, and some more bread because Jan always loves this smaller version rolls. And some apple juice and mandarin juice. Usually I don't drink that much juice, but the truth is since dealing with morning sickness already for 15 weeks, I relay so much on like liquids for part of my diet so yeah adding some vitamins through juices are is, is a great way especially on the days that i cannot eat at all well, i didn't buy these in this show but i wanted to show it these are pregnancy lollipops they're great for when you're feeling extremely bad and honestly i just have one left or two left because they're great if you have one or two are just perfect for those days that you're dying i keep them on my car in my car so when I go somewhere and I haven't eaten for a while, I can just grab one of these and one I won't feel terrible. Now I'm about to go out and I had a carrot before, like 40 minutes before, but I'm still feeling very nauseated. So I literally grabbed some bread um, by itself. I don't know if it works for everyone, but for me, it makes, it does wonders. Like literally, if I get just a nice piece of bread and I'm super, super now shaded. I'm gonna be much better. So maybe that will work for you too. Tonight we're gonna have chicken for dinner. And why, even though I'm feeling so bad, I'm doing such an effort to eat properly. The truth is that if you're feeling bad only for like three or four days, <laughs> three or four weeks, it's okay. You can live on saltines and water, it's fine. But if you, like me, are feeling bad already for a very long time, like I'm 15 weeks and this is not getting mild, I'm still like throwing up every day, not nice. The baby's still growing and it's taking all those nutrients from your body. So yeah, the baby's going to be healthy, but you maybe won't. So you have to do the effort. Uh, in my case, for example, today we're going to have the chicken for dinner with Brussels sprouts and rice that I made yesterday. If I feel, because protein for me is hard, if I feel I cannot cook it because it's just like, ugh, I can't, I let my husband cook. And you can do the same. It's like, they can help doing those types of things. Like usually I would just do it myself, but if I'm feeling extremely sensitive, I'd rather have him doing it do it than myself so maybe give that a try i'm gonna show you anyway what we're gonna have for dinner once it's finally cooked and i'm gonna let you know if i managed to cook it or if he had to
So after all, I think I am cooking. Not feeling great, but like not hating the smells. Um, you have to kind of smell the spices before you use them. I use cumin and oh, like I open it and I was like, oh, I cannot use cumin. So be careful with the spices and everything. That's a nice tip. Um, today when I was coming back, I had to do something in the city center. And when I was walking back to my car, a guy stopped me and he was like, are you okay? Uh, is anything I can do for you? And I was like, no, why? It was like, and I was like, no, I just have, I, I just have nausea. Like. I'm pregnant and he was like oh okay and I was like but thank you for asking and I just left and then I was thinking gosh I really must look like I'm dying like I walk like in the street so I got a pregnancy lollipop in the car which I'm not trying to avoid but it's just like direct sugar I don't want to be like licking on sugar I'm sad I didn't bring a banana with me but you cannot always be so you know planified so yeah today's Dinner is going to be rice with chicken and Brussels sprouts and probably we're going to have some juice. I also bought salad. So if Jan wants salad, he can eat salad. I just snack on salad right now. Um, and that's it. I don't know. Some, some women really get like a very sweet teeth or tooth when, um, when they're pregnant. Not my case whatsoever. So my problem is salt. And what you can do if you have the same problem like me with like craving salt all the time is that maybe one day that you're feeling very, very bad, just give in, you know, eat whatever you can and whatever you want. Next day, if you're feeling a little bit better, like today, me, maybe eat almost saltless. Like practically don't put salt in anything and probably drink those like three and a half liters of water. That's going to help loads. Also helps with the headache. I realized I was having terrible headaches and I changed from drinking two liters of water a day to three liters and that helped. So I guess I was being kind of like, uh, not drinking enough water. Then I don't have any advice directly on the water. You can try juice. You can try, for example, changing one of your liquids for like tea or something. I cannot take anything warm, but I have these ones. I bought these ones in US. They, you put them in the water and they just like put some flavor in the water, but I'm very sure you cannot buy them here, unfortunately. So if you're in US, you know what to do. If you are in Europe and in Czech Republic, well, just add a little bit of juice to your water if you cannot drink water because it makes you yucky. Okay, so after all, I managed to go get myself, so that was good. This is the final meal, and as well, we are gonna have salad as well. So very healthy. I put a super low amount of salt just because I know I overate on salt yesterday. So I'm taking care of that right now. And, you know, trying to eat protein, nice type of carbs, cooked veggies, raw veggies, you know, all the combo. So that was it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a big thumbs up. As well as tell me if you like this subject, if you want me to do maybe once a month video about the pregnancy. It can be interesting and you know, something like this, not, not just me talking about pregnancy, but something that can help you guys as well if you're pregnant and going through this as well. I think that will be fun. I know I will enjoy it. I know I'm watching so many YouTube videos about pregnancy. So let me know about that and that's it. I'll see you what, next Tuesday with a new video. Bye.